Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back to another Thrift Store Thursday, my favorite day of the week. I have so many fun little things to share with you today. And it's just a mishmash of a whole bunch of things. Um, yeah, and of course it's got some dishes in it, like normal. And I'm apologizing for the lighting right away. It is very, like, overcast and cloudy right now. It looks like it's going to rain at any moment. And I have the windows open because I'm airing out the house. So there might be some background noise. I apologize for that. But you know what? It is finally spring here in Minnesota and I am enjoying every second that I can. So I am okay with the background noise. <laughs> so let us go ahead and jump right into this week's haul because I have some fun stuff to share with you. And I don't even know where to start, but I think a good place to start would be the dishes, don't you? I think so. Alright, so I have a little stack of dishes here to share with you. Alright, you know what? This isn't going to work. I'm going to have to shut the windows because it's like a speedway out there. Hold on. I'll be right back. No. Alright, so the very first... Alright, all right, hopefully that will be better. We got buses going by and trucks there working construction, working there, redoing the road in front of us in front of our house and right now they're working on curbs and there's constantly machinery and trucks going by it's just craziness plus you know it's school bus time people are getting off of buses it's just crazy time it's time of the day I should have done this earlier but oh well this is why I have the chance to do it so that is when I'm going to take the time to do it and yeah so enough enough chattering let's get to the dishes so the first thing I picked up this week was a 99 cents and it is this little dish right here. Hopefully you can see the design. It's got the swirl design on it, which is the design that I find around this area quite a bit in ironstone. Ooh, 99 cents for a little bitty ironstone plate. So excited. The markings are, let's, let's see. The marking says Snow White Regency, which is the pattern that I seem to come across the most around here must be very popular in this area and it is by the Johnson Brothers made in England and it's ironstone so of course I had to add this little piece to my collection and I now have a set of plates teacups two platters and some miscellaneous items in the same um, design so yeah I've got quite the set going on so this will be a nice little size to add to it I think this would be a really nice size for a shelf um, piece for my my um, hutch area put some stuff in because it's smallish and I can stack things behind it so yeah I just thought it was a great piece and of course I wasn't gonna pass it up for 99 cents that would be silliness. The next thing I picked up was also Ironstone, and this is the Ironstone China. It's by J and G Meekin from England, but this one was $3.99. But it was yellow tags were on sale this week at the Goodwill, so it was like 75% off. And it is this little piece right here. I just thought it was super cool. I love the little handles on it. And it's just a nice little piece. And I thought it was super adorable. This one is very shallow in like, you know, the height of it. So this would be a nice little trinket tray somewhere. Ah, that is my leg. Rayma lately has just been coming up to me. She just scratches my whole leg. Now that I'm wearing shorts, it just hurts so bad. I cannot get her to stop. Oh, and then she nibbles. Stop. That is not what you do. I know you want attention, but right now Mama's busy. You guys go find someone else to play with. Get down. Go, go. <sighs> Sorry. Ah, a big attack. All right. So anyways, I love this piece. I thought it was super cool. I wish they had some more of them because I love the, the shape of it and I love the little handles. But anyways, I'm very thankful that I found this little piece. Okay, so the next thing I picked up was a set of Corelware. I don't know what my deal is with Corelware lately, but I just think it's so practical. It's not very stylish, but it's practical. And I'm totally into anything that's practical. But anyways, I picked up this set right here. There are four plates 
of the small plates and four of the bowl. And I thought these were really pretty because they are a white bowl, but they have a blue edging on them. And all four of the bowls, I got them for 99 cents each, so I spent $4 on the bowls. And then the plates are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. They also have the blue rim around the outside with the beautiful, like, blue floral in the middle. I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. So the plates were also for 99 cents each, and I picked up four of them. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to put these into the mix up here. And, like, like all of my plates up, up here are, like, a mismatch of a whole bunch of stuff. So I don't know if I'm going to... I think what I'm going to try to do is find some more Corel, like just like a mismatch of Corel wear. And then my white plates that I have up there, I will use for like, um, what do you call it? Like special occasions, like Thanksgiving, Christmas, that sort of thing. Because I love the way the Corel wear stacks. It's just, it stacks so neatly and nicely. And you can get a ton of it in a small space. And I think that is what I love so much about the Corel wear. That and the fact that they're so durable and they are very hard to break. Which is a good thing when you have kids. Even though my kids are older, we're still constantly breaking plates. It just makes no sense. So I'm switch going to try, I think, to switch over to some more Corel wear. At least for like my plates and my bowls because that seem to be what we break all the time. Does anyone else have that problem with like breaking dishes? I don't get it. We like lose a plate every week at least. If it's not a plate, it's a bowl. An occasional glass. I don't understand. I guess we're just real rough on our dinnerware. <laughs> Alright, so moving on to the next item. I found this adorable piggy bank. I think it is so cute. I think it may be, might be from Target. I'm not sure. But it is definitely piggy bank. It's got the little thing on the bottom. Has no markings on it. But it really reminds me of the Bulldog lamp that Target has. It's very similar. And then in the back you got the little coin slot. But I bought this because I just thought it was so adorable. It was $2.99. And I like Bulldogs. <laughs> I think they're so cute. So I could not pass this up. I will put them on a shelf somewhere. Maybe in my bedroom or something like that. Um, I thought maybe one of my girls would like be like all over this. But... They're like, why did you buy a piggy bank? And I'm like, I didn't buy it for the piggy bank. I bought it because it was super cute. And they're like, oh, mom, you're so weird. I'm cool with that, I guess. I don't know. But anyways, I thought it was adorable, so I picked it up. So the next thing I picked up had me very, very excited. I am always on the lookout for anything anchor hawking and milk glass. And I found this small picture and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. I don't know if the markings are going to show up, but I have never seen a picture in this style before. It has like these little raised areas. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it. It's just a very cool design and I love it so much. And it was $4.99 and I just think it is adorable. It's got the bottom, has got the, you know, starburst or whatever you want to call it. But I thought the pattern on this was super cool. I don't know what it's called. I need to look it up. And I don't think it's showing up. But basically, there's like a circle top on the top. Circle area on the top. And like a band that goes down. And a little raised area in the middle that outlines the band. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Oh, I'm wishing that would show up. But anyways, the pattern is super cool. I love that it's kind of like this mini size. And it was also a yellow tag, which was $4.99. So it was 75% off that because it was yellow tag day. What? I was so excited about this. I thought that was really cool. Get a little excited about my find. So this next item is kind of a repeat item about something I found not too long ago. And I think it's super cool. You may remember that I found a retro serving tray not too long ago. I don't remember if it was in my last video or the one before. But this one was $2.99. It has a different top, which I think is very cool, but it's also in the gold. And then it has the two tiers, 
which are in the stainless steel little thing on the bottom. Now this one is not marked. My last one was marked Chromex, so I have no idea who made this one. It has no markings at all, but it was only $2.99 and I am obsessed with these. I don't know why all of a sudden I think these are just the coolest thing. Now this one is not in good, as good of shape. The underside of the top one is a little like um, kind of rusty looking. So this one I think will be a really cool one to use as a like on a desk or something to put like your post-it notes and my stamps and maybe a pen and some paper clips. You know all those little doodads and a little stapler on there, a little vintage stapler. Oh, wouldn't that be cool? I have some of those <laughs> on it. So like just to corral things. And I just think that would be such a fun way to use something like this, which I didn't want to use my other one. I think I mentioned it in my other video because the other one was in such good condition. So I was super excited to find this one. So I'm not quite sure. I need to clean this one up. It still has a tag on it. I haven't even washed it or anything. I don't know if I can take off that rust part. I don't know. Let me know. Does anyone know how to get like rusty spots off of stainless steel? I don't know. I should look that up. But anything, anyways, I thought this was super cool and I uh, was very excited to find it. Alright, moving on to the next item that I found. I do not know where I'm going to use this, but it was $2.99 and I thought it was super amazing. It is this ginormous metal hook. Did you see that? This is like super farmhouse. It's got like a oil bronzed or black... Um, what do you call it? Hammered finish or whatever. I'm assuming it's like a clothes hook or a plant hook. But this I think would be really cool. If I had a laundry room that had space in it, I would hang a whole bunch of these like on a wall because you could get on, this is probably 12 inches. You could hang, you know, eight shirts to dry on these hooks. And that's what I would do because I hang all of our shirts already on hangers to air dry and I just think this would be perfect for it. So I may try to find a place outside down below my deck to like hang, put this up to just hang clothes that I want to dry. They had two of them at the store and I only picked up one and now I'm kicking myself. Why didn't I pick up the other one? Because I thought it was kind of expensive at $3. But seriously, if I would have found something like this at the store, I probably would have paid $15 for it. So I don't know what I was thinking. I had a momentary, um, I went crazy for a little bit, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I was probably thinking I was buying a whole bunch of other stuff that I didn't need to buy two hooks that I didn't know what I was going to do with. But this thing is amazing. So yeah, I really like this. I think it is super cool. And, yeah, I'm sure I could, you know, I could use this in the front yard. I just thought of that. I have, by our front door, we have, like, this post. It's always really, bo really boring, and I never know what to do with it. I could put this on it and put a hanging plant on it. Ah, oh, brilliant. I'm so brilliant. <laughs> Anyways, I thought that was super cool, and now I wish I would have got the other one, too. Because that would have been amazing. I'm getting to the end of my stuff, guys. This is not cool. Alright, so the next thing I found was a lamp. I've been looking for a, a small lamp that I can put in my living room. Because once it gets dark out, I like to just turn a lamp on in our room. And I have a really large one, but I wanted a small one. Because I want to put a small table in front of my corner hutch that is between my two sofas. So I can have a little table over there with a little, little lamp. So we can like do reading and stuff when we lay on the couch. So I've been on the lookout for a little lamp, the little, you know, lamp. And this is what I found. Super cute. It's got like a, I'm not sure if it's a wood base or if it's a faux wood base, but this was $5 and it's the perfect little size. And I think it's adorable. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I may even just leave it the way it is. It's got a nice wood like distressed kind of finish to it and I actually kind of like it so I was like ha ah, score finally a lamp at the thrift store that I don't need to remake and redo and give a facelift to so I thought that was pretty cool 
So very excited to find that. And then, I was looking, you know, I found one lamp and I thought, oh, such good luck. Maybe I'll find some more, so I kept looking. So then I'm looking around and I found this lamp right here. This lamp is vintage. I found it for, it was $5.99 and I fell in love with it. It's like a gorgeous glass, cut glass sort of thing. It's kind of got like a pedestal looking thing on the bottom. It's got fluting on the very bottom or fluting along here and then at the top. But it has a very scary looking plug. Can you see that? I'm not plugging this thing in. So I'm going to rewire this one because this one scares me. I don't like to use vintage plugs. <laughs> I'm afraid they will start a fire. Um, but I don't know if I mentioned this, but this was $5.99 and I thought that was a steal because it is so pretty and I like its little retro flair. So super excited about that. So then I'm looking and thinking I need to find a lampshade. Well, I found one. I dug around in the lampshades for a little bit and I found this simple one right here for $1.99 but it had the yellow sticker so it was like 75% off of $1.99 so pennies I got a really nice looking white and it's even lined on the inside lampshade for pennies I was so excited so yeah that was a good score all right I have two things left and the first thing I'm going to share you, one is super duper cutesy and uh, my family's like why would you even buy that and the other thing is super pretty and super cool. So I think I'm going to show you the cutesy thing first which I absolutely fell in love with and had to buy even though my family has rolled their eyes at me about it. I think it is adorable and it is this little guy right here. I saw this little vintage deer and absolutely fell in love with it. I think it is so cute. It reminds me so much of the little vintage reindeer or deer that I collect for Christmas time that uh, I just had to have it. And it says on it, it says, please leave a note. And it says Ashland, Wisconsin. And it's got a little door here that you can leave a little note on the notepad. And then in here, it's got a little place to put like a pencil. I just think it is so adorable. And this was $1.99. I don't know where I'm going to hang it, but I'm thinking I might find a little place to hang it like in my kitchen or maybe by like my front door or something like that. I don't really know. But I think it's so cute. It's obviously one of those little like touristy kind of thing because it says Ashland, Wisconsin. But um, I just thought it was so adorable. Good to have it. So now we're on our very last item, you guys. Oh my goodness. This is not fun. Anyways. Alright, so I'm just gonna show you. First of all, let me tell you how much it cost. It cost $12.99. But it was a yellow tag, which meant it was 75% off. So I don't know how much it ended up being, but it was less than $12.99. And it is this super cool square soup train. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I think it is so neat. Love the different kind of flowers on it. It's got a little bit of brown in it and like this um, dark green floral display on the top and on both sides and then the top of it is absolutely gorgeous. Right here. Can you see that? So pretty. It's got some gold detailing at the top. The handle is really pretty and you're ornate with a lot of like gold rimming also. And then the sides of it, the little handles also have the gold detailing on it. I just think it's so cool. I fell in love with the shape of this. Very rarely do I ever come across a square like covered dish or terrine or what do you call it, a vegetable terrine or something like that. So I thought this was super cool and I was not passing it up and it is in very good condition. I keep looking at it to see if I can find any like chips or anything on it but I haven't been able to find anything. There's a few like imperfections but that is under the glaze so I'm assuming that's just you know how it was when it was made. So let me see. The markings on the bottom say Royal Semi Porcelain by Johnson 
Maddox and Sons in England. So, that means it must be very fancy because it's from England, right? <laughs> I just love anything from England, though. I am obsessed with things from England. I think it's so fun. But anyways, I just thought this was super gorgeous. Love the different shape of it. Um, yeah, I was very happy about this find. Even though I have nothing in these colors, but I think this will be really pretty to use in the fall. Um, yeah, it'll be gorgeous. Gorgeous. Got kids running around in the background. Oh, I tell you. Alright, so that is it for my haul this week. A lot of amazing, wonderful items at very good prices. So I'm very pleased with that. And I hope that you had a good week at the thrift stores as well. If you did, let me know down in the comments what you found. Because you know I like to know that sort of stuff. And yeah, so I guess if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe. So yeah, now I got a dancing person in the background. <sighs> so anyways, if you are new to my channel and you liked this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I do a thrift store Thursday every single week along with decorating videos and a weekly vlog, um, which I share throughout the week. So if that's something you're interested in, hit that like button and subscribe button and for the rest of you I will see you again next week for another thrift store Thursday bye now